Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connection error with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is on, off, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any error in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. Once you see this tick over here, go back to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to use mobile hotspot so for this you can turn on the data on the phone turn on the hotspot on your phone now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now now you can connect to your phone network so go to wi-fi and you will find your phone network you can connect to your phone network and then relaunch the game and then check still not working run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow all the commands are provided in the video description copy each command one by one paste it over here hit the enter key Now once done, now you can close this, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, disconnect and reconnect the Wi-Fi. Now for this bottom right, click on the Wi-Fi. You can just disconnect and then reconnect and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer first. Unplug the power cable from the computer. Turn off Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few, second, few seconds and then restart Wi-Fi router. Connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart the computer and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to network and internet. Internet, uh, sorry, network and sharing center. Click on your internet over here. Go to properties. Now over here you have to select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 click on properties over here and by default it will it would be set to automatic over here you have to select use the following DNS server addresses and type in 8888 and then for alternate type in 8844 validate settings upon exit click on OK close this now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working you can try this server now for this again click on your internet go to properties select internet protocol version again properties and this time uh, you can type in for use the following dns server address for preferred you can type in one 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 and for alternate it's one zero zero one validate settings upon exit click on ok Close this now, relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to uncheck IPv6. Check it once you're done playing the game. Now for this, you can go to properties once again on your, on your internet and scroll down here. You can see internet protocol version 6 TCP IPv6. If this is checked, you can uncheck it. Click on OK, relaunch the game and then check. And once you're done playing the game, come back and then you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 once again. Now still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this make a right the game manage browse local files and open the ride folder binaries win64 make a right click 
go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click properties go to this tab run as administrator hit apply click on ok now you can launch the game and then check still not working allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then again browse all apps select the first exe file you have to select both the exe file open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again select both the exe file in my case i have already added again allow another app click on browse open this ride folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have add both the exe file or the complete game folder to the exclusion list allow the game exe file turn off or close vpn so if you're using vpn you can turn it off close it then relaunch the game you can even turn on the vpn and then you can even use the vpn so try both on and off and check which one which one is working fine for you next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable you can go for wired connection and then check next step is to verify and repair the game files now for this you can go to steam make our active in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check the last step is to update windows this is important so go to windows update or updated security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel